A simple change that'll really brighten up a room. Coming up next on the At Home channel at buildthepedia.com. You know, old light fixtures can really make a room look dated. Funny thing is, it's one of the easiest things to change. I'm Jeff Wilson. Installing new light fixtures is a job any do-it-yourselfer can tackle. Today we'll show you what tools you'll need and then we'll take you through removing an old fixture and replacing it with a new one. Now these are tools that just about anybody has around the house. Of course screwdrivers and pliers will probably just about do it. This is also a good chance to pick up a small pen type AC tester for your toolkit. This tester is going to help you make sure that no power is coming to the wires while you're working with them. They're inexpensive and you can pick one up in any home center. Okay, now we're going to start by killing the power to the fixture where we'll be working at the electric panel. Remember, safety is always first. It's important to be sure that there is no power coming to the fixture. So shut off the circuit at the breaker box. Okay, now this is the way the tester works. You usually have to push a button, and if you get it near current that's on, it'll beep and make noise. You don't have to touch the wires, you just have to get near it. All right, this will help us make sure when we take our fixture apart that there's no power there. Taking apart the fixture is simple. They're all gonna be a little bit different. Usually you'll start by taking off a shade like this. Set that aside. And then you're actually gonna remove the fixture from the ceiling. In this case, this center pole is what holds the fixture on. Just unscrew that from the mounting bracket. And here's our chance to try out our tester. Make sure that there is no power to these wires. Push the button, I hold it next to the wires. No current. So I'm in good shape. Now we'll remove the wire nuts from the black and white sides of the fixture. That's really all that's holding that fixture in right now. Now we need to take the old mounting bracket off of the box and put the new mounting bracket that came with the fixture in its place. Now I'll use the screws from the old mounting box to uh, mount the new bracket to the old box. And you want to make sure that we have the new bolts pointing down so that they'll accept the new fixture. Now wire nuts for the connection should come in the box. You're going to attach the white to the white, the black to the black, and the ground here, the one that has no insulation, will be connected to the green screw. Another thing about the ground is if you attach that first, it sort of acts like a, a safety to keep the fixture from falling while you're making the other connections. There we go. We're ready to install the new fixture. In this case, we'll need to install the shade first using our four finger nuts. Now, every fixture is going to be different, so you'll want to read the manufacturer's directions. And then we install the bulb, and finally, we'll install the cover. Turn the power back on at the panel, and you're good to go. Wow, that makes a big difference in this room. Well, I hope you found today's video enlightening, and check back often for more great DIY tips on the At Home channel at buildapedia.com.